It's the leading cause of cancer deaths. Lung cancer kills more people in the U.S. than colon, breast, prostate, cancers all combined, according to the American Cancer Society. But a new report is offering some hope when it comes to survival rates. Mandy Gaither explains why health experts say more work still needs to be done. In the fight against lung cancer, health experts call new data on survival rates remarkable progress. It's a terrible disease, and honestly, in the past, we've had trouble moving the needle with regards to survival improvement. But the latest report from the American Lung Association shows the five-year lung cancer survival rate has continued to increase from 21% in 2014 to 25% in 2018. However, a person's odds of surviving five years after diagnosis is only about 20% in communities of color. Now, I diagnose lung cancer on a daily basis, and we're just not catching it early enough. The odds of surviving cancer increase significantly when it's diagnosed early. But the report says about 44 percent of cases of lung cancer aren't caught until a late stage when the survival rate is only 7 percent. Last year, lung cancer screening recommendations were expanded to include anyone ages 50 to 80 who have smoked a pack a day for 20 years or two packs a day for a decade. But in 2021, the report shows only about 5.8 percent of eligible people in the U.S. were screened. The challenge is getting the word out there, making people understand the risks of lung cancer, providing them with options in terms of how to get diagnosed with lung cancer, and then really explaining the importance of getting treated. For Health Minute, I'm Mandy Gaither.